In this video, I'll show you three ways that I style my medium length hair. This is how I style my hair most of the time. I like to wear it straight with a bit of volume. So this is my natural hair and I'm using my favorite straightener of all time, which is the Bio Ionic One Pass. I prefer this over the GHD. So as usual, I spray my hair with heat protectant and comb my hair through. I never heat style my hair without spraying heat protectant first. So I always separate my hair into three sections and here I'm working on the first section which is the bottom. So when I straighten it I actually curl it in slightly so that there's a bit of a curl towards my face. So here I am working on the second section. It's pretty simple, everyone knows how to straighten their hair. So just keep going until you finish straightening all of your hair. Now, on to the teasing comb. So you have to make sure that you've got a good teasing comb. I really like this one that I have from Scudsy. And now I'm just sectioning my hair so I can start teasing. So you wanna get a piece about that thick and then spray it with some dry shampoo so that it has something to hold onto. And as you can see, the dry shampoo really helps with this. So just keep going until you have finished teasing your hair. So I don't actually tease out the very top layer, I just smooth light over everything else with my fingers. And as you can see, one side has a lot more volume than the other. So of course you want to continue to tease on the other side of your hair. So once again, when you finish, just smooth your hair out with your fingers and you can work with it a bit to see if you're happy with the volume. And that's the finished look. So next I have these really pretty curls which I think would be really good for a special occasion like a wedding. And here I am sectioning my hair off once again. So I'm using the Vital Sassoon Curl Secret for this look and I have it on the lowest heat setting set on 8 seconds. So you just need to clamp where you want your curl to start and just wait for the beeps. So when it beeps a few times like that, that means that your curl is ready and you can release. So you just need to repeat this all over your head. Now I do have a couple of videos where I use the Vital Sassoon Curl Secret on my longer hair and if you want to see those videos, I'll link them down below. So just make sure that you're clamping your hair where you want the curl to start. So in my case, I'm not actually starting the curl too high. Now for the very top layer, I don't start the curl up too high because I don't really want to end up with a lion's mane. So when you've finished curling all your hair then use a texturizing spray like this one and just spray it into your hair and work it through. So here I am just working the product into my hair. And I felt like I needed to curl a few more pieces um, at the top so that's what I'm doing here. Thank you. 
And if you feel the need to, you can also tease your hair at the crown. So here is the finished look. Okay, next we have these natural looking waves, which I'm really loving. And once again, sectioning my hair off into three sections, starting with the bottom. So I'm using a 38 millimeter curling iron. And I actually prefer using a curling iron with a clamp with my length of hair because it's actually quite hard to wrap my hair around a curling rod with my hands. So here I am curling it outwards. And for my next curl, I'm going to curl that inwards. So I'm just going to keep alternating the curl in different directions so that it looks a bit more natural. Now I actually hold the curling iron differently depending on if I'm curling outwards or inwards. So that might actually help you as well. Now when I'm curling the pieces framing my face, I don't want to curl it up too high and I also don't want to keep it in for too long. So when you're finished, you might feel like you need to recurl some pieces. So here I am recurling the two pieces framing my face. So I always curl outwards to frame my face. So make sure you allow enough time for your curls to set and cool down and when you have then just shake it out so I like to shake out my curls for more of a natural look. Now if your hair doesn't hold a curl very well then you might want to hairspray as well. So this is the finished look. So let me know which look was your favourite, I'd love to know. I think I'm currently really liking look number three. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a big thumbs up and I will see you in the next video.